See the reviews on this game? They're actually really good. Um, this game came out not long ago. Let's see what the fuck this is. Local saves. Normal mode, hardcore mode beta. Experience mini healer as is. This is the suggested mode for first time players. For experienced healers only reduce experience required to level. Low level bosses give less experience. Turn the save into normal mode if you die. Contains additional achievements. Highly recommended that you finish a normal run through and export your normal game save first before your hardcore run. Okay, we'll do hardcore. Uh-oh. Wait, this just throws you right in. Bone Knight. Welcome to the vault. Legends say that long time ago, it's sub Sunday. Maybe we can survive for an hour. Let's make this interesting. Legend says that long time ago, many powerful artifacts were hidden here. It is now up to you and your party to find and acquire them. These are your party members, and they will automatically attack the boss for you. Okay, so we have a tank, we have a fucking arms warrior, and we have a fucking feral druid. Uh, automatically attack the boss for you. Your job is... Oh, I play a healer. Oh shit, dude, that's me. Uh oh, looks like your tank has taken some damage. Let's heal him up. Select him by clicking anywhere on his portrait or health bar. Great job. Now let's cast our first spell, Lesser Heal, to heal him up. Whoa! Amazing. That should be all you need to know. Defeat the Bone Knight. Wait, that's it? I'm, oh, okay, so see if you click. Oh, okay. Bro, I got you, dude! Is that my mana pool? Oh, dude! Oh, that's actually sick, dude. Uh-oh, looks like your tank is bleeding. Don't worry, here's a new skill that can help. Unlock Renew. Renew is great for healing a single target over time. Try selecting the tank. Oh, we have a hot. Oh, you can see the Renew effect right there. Drawing the most attention from the boss. There's a bit of a cooldown, but what if I save my mana? Rip World of Warcraft. Dude, don't die, bro! We're almost there, boys! 19%! World first! This is the new WoW tier. They just didn't add the graphics. Yeah, Renew's fucking... Uh, Renew's... Uh, I wonder if it shows you the mana. New record, flawless victory. Nice! 182 XP, we leveled up. to Haven. Ah. I don't think it's an idle game. You have to actively heal. Welcome to the Hidden Haven. Here you can rest and prepare yourself for your next fight. Visit the talent room to learn different talents and masteries. Every time you level up, you will gain a talent point. Feel free to also check out other items in the room. Vault waypoints, trophies, talent room, settings. All right, let's see, talents. That's pretty much talking about in our party. like a ton. You can also use the button to upgrade or downgrade. Okay, so, talent loadouts. Increase renews effect by 1%. Increases renews duration. Increase maximum mana by 40. Every time renew heals a target, there's a 50% chance to restore five mana. That sounds amazing. Increase heal power by 25. I say we do this. Ah, priest. Whoa. Oh my god, there's talent trees. Shit. Give it back. Oh, it did. Has auras and defensive abilities to empower allies. Uses offensive magic to weaken the enemies. Uses powerful heal over time and small heals in quick succession. Um... This sounds kind of cool. Increase all party members' physical damage. Sacrifice a talent maximum of 99 levels. Increase all party members' attack speed. I, I want to go Druid. I think I'm going to stick with Druid, though. I kind of like I kind of like Druid mode. It sounds kind of sick. Let's go, boys. I need a level. What the hell are you doing? Hidden Haven. Vault entrance. Reach level 33 to unlock. Okay. Vault entrance. Wait, did I get a one-star rating or was that a one-star? 
What, what's the one star mean? Let's go kill this guy. Best time go. Oh, wait a minute. It's normal, brutal, insane. Why don't level eight? Oh, are you supposed to grind? Select an object at the bottom right to view the boss's info. Spell power, attack speed, skills, summon a little slime to help. All right, let's go. I think we can do this, whatever. I think you get like loot as well. Gump, what's his name? Gump. Here we go, boys. Second boss in the tier. Renew up. How much mana is this? 60 mana? Watch out for any harmful debuffs. Make sure to hover onto each debuff to see the effects. Unlock Dispel. Dispel can remove some harmful effects. Can be dispelled, cannot be dispelled. Got it. Oh, okay. You have to look at the, the debuff right there. All good, people. All good. Keep the renew rolling. Always get heals on the tech. What is this, 45 mana? Looks like Gump has summoned a minion. Clicking on an enemy will make the party switch focus to it. Oh, shit. I got a raid lead as well. Keep Renew moving. Alright, they all did it. They killed it. Oh, you can see the little target marker right there. This is actually kind of a sick game. If you like healing in MMOs... This is actually kind of sick. We did it! We're level three. What did we get? A new sword and a... Oh shit, yo. I can't equip that. The most common currency... Ooh. Sell, sell all bag. I wonder if I can like equip tank maximum health, tank block. Berserk physical damage. I might give that to him. All right, so if I continue... Maybe I can equip. It looks like you got yourself an artifact there. Let's go visit the army in Hidden Haven to learn more about it. Okay, so if we go back to Hidden Haven and we go to right here, you can equip an artifact to the healer by dragging it onto the appropriate equipment slot to gain its power. Double clicking also works. Oh, shit. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, I think I only gear up myself. Rarity items, so these are, these are, this is everything. Weapon armor, that filters it. Why would I not put this on then? Wait, you can craft as well? So, okay, well. Oh, wait, it was plus seven tank physical damage, plus 15 berserker physical damage. So your gear affects your party, is how it works. How do I do all? I don't know. So now my tank will have 44% or plus 44 health and plus 17% tank block chance. Ah! So the priest equipment buffs the group. All right, let's go back. Yo, I think we can do this. We're gonna do this on Brutal. I think we can fucking kill him, chat. I think we can do this. Okay. Let's go, people! Full DPS! Full DPS! I got the heals! Listen! Oh my fucking god! It's all good! It's all good! The AoE is normal. Just keep the renew on the main tank. I just gotta heal through the AoE hits. Keep renew rolling. We got a debuff. Oh my god, they gain new abilities too. Don't worry, don't worry! Oh my god, my mana pool. Holy shit, we're gonna die! Bro! Fucking heal me, dude! If I have two renews, oh my god. If I renew everyone, what happens? Shit! Don't kick the healer! Fuck! One for mana! Oh no. Wait! Okay. Okay, you can't do that. Yo, 50% level 3? All right, we're gonna go again. Uh, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go hardcore mode. All right, we're good. We're good, we're good. Here we go, here we go. Yes, yes. All right. Easy, boys, easy. Easy, don't worry about it, don't worry. Don't worry. That was just testing. You know, that was level three and we were able to um, get him to 50%. If I had a bit more gear, we would've gone ham. I don't 
don't know, man. I actually, I always have loved healing in MMOs. WoW healing is always fun, but Shadowlands, I'm gonna tank. Even though, like, there's something about healing and seeing all the green numbers pop up that is so fucking satisfying. But it takes a specific type of person to heal. Like, not everyone likes healing in MMOs. I fucking love it. Obviously, the game needs to pull off healing very well, and, uh... I don't know how Final Fantasy, uh, healing is. Is Final Fantasy healing good shit? Anyone here? Yeah, pa Pally healing is my, my, my favorite. Because it's just big fucking... Big fucking heals, and then you want to crit heal, so you just see, like, fat, massive heals. Just like pop. Alright, let's go maximum mana. Um... And then, uh, the 5% on Renew. Alright, let's just go to the next boss. Elder Scroll Online healing is my favorite. Are there- are there raids in Elder Scroll Online? Is healing in Elder Scroll actually good? I've never ever- I didn't even know you could- I didn't even know there was healers in Elder Scroll. This game's actually good practice if you're a healer and you need practice, but... Actually, no, that's a horrible idea. Just play the fucking MMO you're playing and practice there. I don't know if New World has healers. I don't even know if New World has a trinity. I thought ESO didn't have a trinity. Shit, dude! Don't let him fucking debuff! Alright. I wouldn't mind potentially... Didn't ESO have a new um, expansion? I gotta see a YouTube video on ESO healing. Someone link me. If ESO healing is badass... Because literally playing this game just makes me want to heal in an MMO. I wonder if the loot is the same because it was like tutorial loot. Okay, but yeah, it was literally the same shit. All right, let's go to Haven. Let me just equip this, and then, yeah, we're not gonna try hitting the level eight. That was a horrible idea. All right, equip, equip, and let's go back. My birthday. Fuck yeah, feels good, man. Yo, dude, fucking uh, Lyric H is in the, or er, feels birthday man in the chat. Ix Ixior? Ixior? Let's see what he does. He might have ads or something. Some damage belongs to a certain element. Okay. And? Oh, I got the renew! You're good, dude! I need an AoE heal eventually. Can I actually make the text bigger? No, I can't. Never mind. Double debuff. Frozen and taken damage cannot be healed. Uh oh. You just have to dispel them instantly. My main healing time in WoW was, uh, ICC. ICC on a holy pally. Actually, no, and playing a priest in BC as well. I played a dwarf priest. Whoa! Negate, remove one buff status effect from the current enemy. Oh, shit, I got offensive stuff. Did he have a buff or something? I don't know if he had a buff. Alright, nice. I mean, I healed his disc, but like, actually fucking healed. I'm talking about like, progression rating type shit. Whoa! Plus 11 heal power, plus 44 healer physical damage, plus 4 party physical damage. Uh, oh, okay. Let's see here. Two Haven. I got a purple. The skill room is not unlocked. The skill room is now unlocked. Upgrade and set up your skills. Welcome to the skill room. Bring in the right skills into the battles. Get to the checkbox here often to see what you have unlocked. What do we have? Radiant heal, longer cast time, but heals all party members for a moderate amount. Okay, we have an AoE heal. So we have, let me put my dispels here. That one's in the gate. So, okay. And then let's go here. What is this? Oh god, I can wear both. I can wear a sword and a wand. Plus 42 ta tank maximum health versus plus 29 party maximum health. I'd oh, you can have two shields. 
two shields and two weapons. Nice. I don't think there's anything else. What level are we? We're level four. Chat, I bet with the AoE heal, we could do hard mode. And kill that guy. The only thing is I ran out of mana. Also, fuck. Talent points. What is this? Oh yeah, talent room. Maximum of three levels. What is this? There's a 45% chance to restore five mana. How many points do I need in order to go to the next tier? Points invested. I probably need five points. Most likely. Go normal on all beasts. Yeah, maybe I'm, I'm trying too hard here. She looks scary. Solaria and Lunaria. Uh-oh. What do we do here? Powerful blow to a single target. Expose the target, increasing damage taken by a large amount. Because I'm going to have to choose who to attack. I don't know if these have, like, actual strategies. Be aware that sometimes there can be additional environment effects. Okay. Whoever doesn't have the shield attack. I think that's the way to do it. Yes. I am correct. I'm going to try my AoE heal. Oh, shit. All is good. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hold on. Dispel. Dispel. All right. Go back to this target. Get a renew on me. Let's do a radiant. Oh, I dispelled by accident. Holy shit. Stay alive, dude. Dude, my fucking mana pool. Holy shit. Alright, we're good, we're good. Easy, easy. World first! World first! Level five! All stats increased. Nice, nice. We have a new chest piece. What is this? Plus 70 tank maximum health. Plus 28 party maximum health. Plus 43 heal power. Plus 64 mana. Dude. Fucking equip that shit. What are you doing? Wait, actually, why can't I wear this? Armor. What is this? Relic. Oh, so these are... Oh, damn, bro. Plus one mana regen as well. Is this unlocks by completing level 7 or a Mavor? I have a feeling this is the chest piece right here. And I need to be level 7. No, no, I don't think you take a shield off unless you may be right. Oh, you're right. Party lightning resist? Tank maximum, party maximum. What if I do party party? So we have party. We want some synergy here, even though it makes sense to buff the tank up. This is tank, and then both of these are party. Boys, we're gonna do hard mode the first boss. Okay, hard mode first boss on Brutal. I think with these upgrades, we can do this. We got him to 50%. Watch. Here we go. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Chill, chill. Slow heals, slow heals. Keep up with the mana. AoE hit. Don't worry, I got AoE heals. Done, slow heals. Dispel the tank. Keep Renew rolling. Wait for it. He's slamming. I don't know if I timed that heal well. I gotta time it on the slam. As soon as he slams, we gotta do it. Ink and do it. You know, as long as I keep the tank up, we're good. Because the... Oh, he's enraging. What the fuck? He has an enrage meter. Oh, the slam's gonna hurt! Fuck! Stay alive, boys! One more AoE. Come on, come on! Fuck yeah, dude! We were under-leveled. Nice! I'm surprised we didn't get a shit ton. That looks like a legendary. 
The Growing Thoughts, plus 24 heal po power, plus 3 tank physical damage per character level, plus 5 berserk physical damage per character level. Oh my god. Healer, critical strike multiplier, healer power, healing lightning damage, plus 20 healer lightning damage. I think that's if you uh, play like the occultist spec. Uh, hold on. I think I removed this. And then we- holy shit. The Growing Thoughts and Ghost Wand. Daddy? Wait, you can craft as well. What is this? Crafting materials. Can you, like, disenchant? Also, there's gold. I don't really know what you use gold for. What is this? Skill room? Oh, yeah. Restore a small amount of mana per second for 10 seconds. Instantly heals the target. Instantly heals the target, and then this restores mana. Gain 20 mana per second. This is kind of like a... Uh, huh. Duration, 10 seconds. So this gives you 200 mana. Cost nothing. So why not? What's the cooldown? Is 210 seconds. Oh, shit. So this is my... Uh, okay, I'm down with that. Okay, we can make this work. Two... Yeah, that's like an innervate right there. Um... Shit, what was I gonna do? Talents. This is able to be maximum of three levels. Increase heal power. Increases Renew's effect by 17. Increase Renew's duration. Why not? Renew's really good. Increase heal power, renew effect, spirit ritual, nature's gift. Is it 1%? Am I blind? Oh, the, the one... It looks like something else. Increase all party members' maximum health, adds ice damage to all party members' attacks. Whoa. Increase heal power, spirit ritual, spiritual. I should just go focus on heals. Ranger's physical, ranger attack. I'm going pure heal. Although this sounds great. I'm gonna put a point into that. And then I uh, get other rejuiced up as well. You know, I could just farm that boss again, but I wanna see another boss. Let me just see what the upgrades we have, if we can kill him on Brutal. Just out of curiosity. How much, uh, faster we can kill. How much is my insta-heal? Oh, that actually does a decent amount. It's nice. And then let me see how my mana is. So that only works on me. He's enraging already. Bro, we are fucking him up. Look at those, look at that gear upgrade. Look how fast we're killing him. But on top of the fact, like, yeah, we did level. Dude. You can use QWER to swap characters. Wait, what do you mean you use QWER to swap characters? Plus 24 tank fire, plus 36 tank lightning damage. I thought the others auto attack and you only play the healer. Huh? To select. You don't need to click to swap between them. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you hit Q. Oh, instead of clicking healing. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I prefer clicking. I'm a clicker. When I heal, I'm more of a clicker. Sorry. Yeah, you mean QWER to target. I don't think these are worth it. Um, I'd rather have stuff for, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think that's a great item right there. I don't think that's, I don't think that's very good. Heal power and heal power. I don't want to, although this looks like the, the tank will do a fuck ton of damage. I think what I have right here is beautiful. All right, let's go to the next boss. You actually do have to grind a bit. What is this? Difficulty level 15. I think we could try this guy on Brutal. Requirement level 9. I'm playing on Hardcore, so I don't want to die. We need to survive for as long as we can. Alright boys, Heroic Mode! Here we go! Shit! Alright, get ready. What is this? Taking Nemesis damage every second. Okay, all good, all good. AoE heal. Chill. Summon, get ready for add. Everyone on add. Do another AoE heal here. Debuff. Negate him. 
I don't think you can can- Oh, you can cancel your heal. Let's do another one here. Oh, yo, this guy's fucking easy clap, bro. Ignore the edge, just fuck him up. Go, 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 go! DPS, DPS! I didn't even go below 50% mana. That was a shit ton of levels. Ooh, legendary chess piece. Heal power, maximum tank health, party health, health regen, stacks up to five times. Healer, oh my god, a better wand. Whenever you cast a spell, there is a 15% chance to haunt the current enemy, making it deal 2% less damage. Okay. All right, dude. This one's not bad, though. Heal power, healer, physical damage. Compared to healer, physical, healing power. Oh, this is way better. This is, this is way better. This is way fucking better. Sure, sure. Two legendaries already. And then this. This is very nice. I need unlock by completing level 7 Aura, Mav Aura Mavor, and Edwin at the dining hall. Wait, what? Is the di are those bosses? Is this the dining hall? Vault entrance. Replace the shield. Yeah, actually, you guys are right. So I wonder... Yeah, I wonder what the fuck this is then. And then right here... Ranger fire damage. Well, this would be considered... You'd put this in the wand spot. So that's not even worth it. I'm gonna actually sell this. You wanna sell? Yes. I don't know what gold is used for. Maybe you open up a shop later on, or uh, you have to spend the gold somehow. But, uh, yo, this build right now, fucking low. What level are we? We're level 9. Oh, wait, I did level up, didn't I? So let me actually put a talent point into this again. What is this? Increased mana regen by 0.2 per second. Reduce mana cost of all spells. Increase all party members' ice resist, fire resist. That's very, very nice. Um, and then, let me see. Any other skills? I think we... Oh. A single target heal over time also heals the target at the end of the duration. A small heal over time spell for all party members. Bro. Where the fuck am I putting these? Do I have to replace these? Removes a single buff status effect from the targeted enemy. Um. Coronavirus, I love you, man. Wow, thank you, dude. Thank you. Chat, what do you think? A single target heal over time also heals a target at the end of the duration. That reminds me of uh, Life Bloom. A small heal over time spell for all party members. Is this an AoE? Is this AoE Renew? Am I reading this correctly? I think this is AoE Renew. So, I think I'm gonna replace this. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure how it, how Negate is. I, I can't tell if that's really, really good, but I'm actually gonna go like this, and I'll have... Uh, this spell should actually be close. This is filler. This is fucking... Should always be on the tank. This is AoE. This is AoE as well. Um, that'll be good against that one. Oh, you can upgrade as well using this shit. Oh, I haven't gotten any of those yet. How do you do the first boss on Insane? Level 17. Oh yeah, we can't fucking do that. What about this guy? Level 11, this dude. I think we can do it. Something tells me we're kind of OP right now. Or I'm totally wrong and he's gonna fuck us. Let's see. Got oh, it! Uh-oh. All is good, boys. All is good. I got nature's gift. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're fine. We are okay. Nature's gift is rolling. Let's go. Let's go. Are we supposed to break each other out? Or what are you supposed to do here? Oh, you can dispel through it. Fuck. I didn't know I could dispel through. What?
Holy shit! It's fine. He was the worst DPS in the group. Nothing was lost. I thought I couldn't dispel during that. What is that? It looks like a fucking... What is this? Inquisitor's Cape. Plus 39 heal power, plus 126 party maximum health. 4% crit heal. Dude. Oh, shit. That looks great. I'm pretty sure the cape is what I unlock. I kind of want to fight that guy again. I want to fight that guy again. Congratulations on reaching level 10. You will now start earning mastery experience every battle based on how many points you have invested into the class tree. Each master level will grant you a mastery point. Mastery points can be used to improve the talents. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. That's what the thing is that I was looking at earlier. So if you go here, um, do we actually have any mastery points? We do. So, hypothetically, I could, uh, upgrade this and make it so... Plus 40 maximum mana. I'm down. That was worth it. Anything that increases mana pool is good. Unlocks by completing level 7, Aura, Mavor, and Edwin at the dining hall. Has anyone seen a fucking dining hall? Because I haven't seen shit. Stats and info. Cape is armor? Was cape armor? I think you're right. You're right. The Inquisitor's cape is so fucking good. Oh yeah, dude. Bro, my healer's already full legendary. Full unique. We're just missing like one item here, which I just need to get a relic. I'm gonna fight that guy again. Yo, Cla Cluid, what up, dude? I'm gonna fight this dude again. Uh, I just don't want to die this time. What do you mean the boss had three stacks? I'm gonna have rolling hot, and then I just gotta be ready for the dispels on this guy. Alright, there we go. No one should die now. Get that mana regen, boys! What the fuck is this? They're gonna take a shit ton of damage here. Nice. Alright, anything good? Maybe another relic, please? Bro, no way can you pick up two capes. What is this? Ore of hostility, a common ore, ore of toughness. Dude, if you can fucking wear two capes, which makes no sense. Uh, lol. Actually, I mean, 39 heal power, 10 heal, this is insane. Health regen. I mean, oh wait, can you? No, you can't do two capes. That wouldn't really make sense anyways. All right, uh, let me see. Where's the talent room? This was really good. Increase mana regen by, I think this is passive. What is this? Increase ranger physical damage, all party members elemental, gain an aura that increases party attack speed. That's actually kind of sick too. Heal power, I feel like more heal power is worth. There's no reason not to. I have an upgrade, plus 50 party max health. I'm gonna go plus 80 mana, but I'm gonna wait. I don't know how to tell how many orbs I have. I don't see where the orbs are. I saw it earlier. But I guess requires one mastery point. Requires six mastery points in Druid. Chat, where the fuck are mastery points? I don't see it. Oh, it's on another door. Oh, okay. Um, skill room. We're good, let's keep moving. All right, I am level 11. This boss is level seven requirement. Let's just kill her real quick. I'm pretty sure we're gonna fuck her up here. Summon crystal. Hey yo, nice crystal, bro. Hypothetically, if I put Renew on everyone, I will have a shit ton of mana regen if I just buff the shit out of my Renew. 
I'm just gonna have Renew rolling on everyone. Are we supposed to do something to this crystal? I think it's only when she has the shield up. Also, what happened to my mana pool? I thought it was over a thousand. The fuck? What? Daddy? That looks like a bow, a legendary bow. Peace song, physical damage. Ranger's attack increases heal power by 10 after 10 seconds. Loses all stacks. Eww. Nah, fuck that shit. What do you want me to do? You want me to re remove my legendary ass fucking wand for your ass? Hell no. What are you even saying? Let's get that higher up. Okay. I think in order to progress, what the reach level 33, defeat Brutal Sepetus to unlock. Brutal Sepetus. Dude, she was pretty easy, but I also don't want to fuck up on hardcore. Chat, you think we can beat her? Three levels below with this gear? She didn't do a lot of damage. I think we could do it. No, I think we can. You think for this fight, you need to do negate? Summon a crystal to fight alongside. A furious blow. Cut through the veins, dealing physical damage over time. Yeah, what happened to my mana pool? What is this? Insane is 19. This guy on insane is level 17. Level 11. What about thumb on brutal? Let's do thumb on brutal. Let's see, let's see. And go. Yeah, now my man is good. Maybe uh, the boss debuffs you. I got Renew rolling on everyone right now. That's what I'm talking about. Chill, boys. Easy, easy. No problem, no problem. Shit, I need to be better with the clicks. We're good, though. I kind of did overheal a bit there, but... We survived. Half mana pool. Give me the goods! What do we got? Oh shit, a ring. And this, Sword of the Sun and the Moon, 34 tank fire damage plus 34 healer ice damage. Tank attacks have a 50% to deal 40 fire damage to all enemies. Healer attacks have a 50% to deal 40 ice damage to all enemies. Eh. Plus 3% heal power. Plus 25% uh plus 25 max health heal power party nemesis resist. Ooh, hold on, let me see. I don't even, uh, I have a spot for that too. Dude. Fucking gear up the healer. I like this. Are there people in vanilla WoW running around with benediction? Isn't, isn't vanilla WoW still wicked popular? Like there's a shit ton of people. That must be fucking badass. Craft. I'm not really sure how crafting works in this game. It's kind of weird. Like, how does this, like, once you click on something, the craft symbol appears. What am I supposed to craft here? I don't understand how it works. Just a few nerds. Third talent and first row is really good. Increased heal power. Oh yeah. The fuck? This is just pure heal power. Is there a way to see my total heal, heal power? I wonder. Uh, maybe under, like, armory or something? Oh, there 
I don't think I have any other skills. Oh, what's this? Place the spirit orb on the target. Spirit orb will explode when the target takes damage, healing the target. Whoa. This is kind of like, um... This reminds me of spirit, the shield that Pally's buff. Can critically heal. I kind of like my current setup, though. Plus, I you have to mix and match. You can save... Oh, so you can kind of change shit up. Oh, stats and info. Oh, 1,521 health. Where's my heal power? Heal power, 357. Heal critical chance, 4.5. Because obviously you're the main, the main is the healer. Artifacts. What's the best staff you can get? No artifacts found, or you have not to. Oh, you. Oh, never mind. You have to find these. I found this chilled mall. I don't remember seeing that. All right, we are level thirteen. Use it. Use my mastery points. I'm just going to do this for the mana. Plus 80 maximum mana. I feel like going mana and crit would be sick. Alright. Let me see. Level 13 brutal. Boys, I think we can do this. I'm going to do one more on them because my mana... I, I'm, I'm going to see if I can... Uh, I got to see what's efficient here. Alright, let's see. One more time. Renew on everyone. Roll nature's gift. Do a fat heal. Get my mana back. Roll more renews. And see if I can... I want to end the fight with more... A shit ton of mana. Debuff the tank. Insta heal. Hold up. And I mean, that was better. Not bad. I'll take that. Boys, we can do brutal. We can kill the second, the last boss, brutal. Maybe a new ring, though. What is that? Heal power. Isn't this the same? I'm pretty sure that's the same one I got. I'm almost positive. But we did level up, so let me just put a talent point in. I think three is the maximum points you can put in. Uh, we're going to go with mana regen right here. And uh, I, yeah, I have to wait. Requires three mastery points. This is still needed, but we'll see. Oh, what was that? Oh, 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 okay. Um, all right. Same items might have different stats. You think so? You might be right. That would kind of make sense. Plus 25 party maximum health, plus 24 party No, fortified loop and... Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. It's slightly different. I'd rather this ring. You are correct, good sir. You are correct. Alright, boys. This is gonna be scary. But I think we can do this. I just need to focus the fucking, um... The, uh... Crystal that spawns. Get ready, people! Get ready! I think if they're immune, you can't negate the immunity. All good, all good. I got heals rolling. All right, chill, 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 chill. Stick with my mana, boys. I dispelled. Heals coming. All is good. Do not panic. Do not panic. There's a reason why you chose me for your pug. Heals. All good, all good. Get ready, Crystal. Crystallized. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Maybe attack that a little more. 
The crystal literally seems fucking useless. Look at that fucking buff from the armor. That armor is insane. Jeej, people. Jeej. World first hard mode. Oh! Whoa. What is that? Damn. Plus 23 party max health, plus 29 heal power, plus 70 max mana, 10% chance to gain 5 mana after casting a spell. Ooh. I don't know, though. I don't know. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's gonna be an upgrade we want right now. Actually, wait a minute though. It's a relic. Technically, can you have two relics? Oh shit. Dude. So this compared to the ring. Party max health, heal power, verse. Oh my god, this is way better. Holy shit. If you click at the chest and pre-fight boss screen, you can see the loot they will drop. Oh, really? Dude, this healer is so geared. This is crazy. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you for the uh, reset, bro. No, you. this is called mini healer, so you gear the healer. Soul quarter. Uh-oh. Oh, God. What level? Level 17. Despair. Oh god. Spell power attack. Um. Okay. Trying to wake up the target will cause them to be haunted. Is that telling me not to dispel? Summon evil spirits to haunt the target, making them take small ice that's on the spirit will cause them to return to the caster. So you want to dispel haunt, not nightmare, I think. Dispel haunt, not nightmare. Alright. Here we go, people. That shit was tutorial. Haunt taking ice damage. Okay, so I'm gonna dispel haunt. What is this? Nightmare. Okay, so I'm not gonna dispel nightmare. He just needs to eat through he just needs to stay through it, both of them, I'm pretty sure. This is more about, like, not fucking your dispel up. But I can heal through. What if they have haunt and nightmare, though? Does it prioritize? I don't know what happened. It didn't prioritize. Tank, you're okay! I'm just not gonna dispel at all. We'll just heal right through it. That worked too. Yeah, I guess you could just dispel. That was worth. I might do that again. Legendary bow. Windstalker. Eh. If you could individually... Uh, I'm gonna do that fight again, actually. But wait, did I read that correctly? Summon evil spirit to haunt the target, making them take small ice damage over time. Oh, that's all it does. Dispelling the spirit will... Okay, so yeah, you do want to dispel that will cause them to be haunted. Oh, so they'll just take more damage. Because if you dispel Nightmare, it gives them the haunt debuff. But yeah, I'd rather them just stay awake. Get that damage rolling. Let's go, boys! Let's go! Tomato, tomato, pagolo! Holy! I should have woke him up. Might as well wait for those. He's still asleep. Poor guy. Sorry about that, man. Chill, boys. Chill. We good. We good. Easy. I'm just gonna go AFK, alright? My food's here. Just have the hots roll. This guy's easy to just farm. I'm just gonna farm this guy to level 20. Even if he drops the same shit, why not, right?
If I restart, what happens? Does it just do the fight again? Okay. So yeah, I guess you can just farm like that. I just dispelled myself. It would have made more sense to dispel uh, the DPS. Spam two, boys. Two regrowth is where it's at. Best ability in the game. If they take a shit ton of damage, do the insta heal. How long does this last? Not super long. Holy shit, yo. This healer's OP as fuck now. How many how many levels? Is that a level a kill? Holy shit. Okay, let's go again. I'm pretty sure maybe two more times and that's level 20. Let's get some mana rolling. I wonder if you can lower the cooldown of your dispel. I doubt it though. Easy, brah. Oh my god, she's being haunted like five times. Don't worry, dude. Nice. Wait, that didn't... Oh, never mind. Okay. Alright, one more, one more. I don't even think I'm gonna check the stuff that isn't unique. I don't think there's any point. Because healer also deals nemesis damage to the current enemy for 6% of the amount healed on a lesser heal's heal. He'll also use Nemesis damage to the current enemy for 100% of amount healed on Shadow Ripple heals. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. It was 81 heal power, though. It was. Which is a shit ton. All right, we good, we good, we good. Don't worry. I can sleep. You know, even though I'm in Nightmare, I can still uh, heal, so I don't really need to dispel myself. I can just sit there with it on. All good, boys. GG's all around. GG's. All right, we should be level 20 here. We're... Now I feel like healing in a fucking MMO. Okay, let's see what the next boss is. Oh shit, a thousand on the cell? Nice. Actually, hold up. Two Haven. Do first boss max difficulty. Um. So... Actually... Heal power... Healer also deals damage for a lesser heal, and then Healer also deals Nemesis damage to the current enemy of the amount healed on Shadow Ripple heals. What the fuck is Shadow Ripple heals? I don't know what the fuck Shadow Ripple heals is, so I don't know if it's good. Oh my god, that's just pure increase. Oh yeah, is it a cultist? 15% abundant growth mana no, restore chance. Someday, mind to make Whoa. the seventh game Neverland? Rickful put it on Steam only for today to stress just servers. Everyone can play. Um, I would, dude, but I don't. I would, but maybe tomorrow, man. Oh, only for today. Uh, let me see here. Let me try the first boss. Let me see here. Okay. This is the hardest difficulty first boss, but we're above on three levels. So it's kind of like... 
problem. I don't know if there's an initial heal with Nature's Gift. Yo, dude, nice fucking brutal, asshole. Yo, dude. Oh, fuck, he enraged. Yo, dude. Nice job there, Bone Knight. I ended with full mana. I would, bro, but, like, I already have, like, my schedule planned out and shit, and I'm out right at 7, because I, I have to fucking go. <clears throat> Dude, why is Lyric stream so loud? What? Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Why don't you just turn your own volume down? What? Chat, what the fuck is he talking about? Alright, yo, we need to next game it, but... Level 19. Let's try to kick her ass. See if we can do this. This might be difficult. Oh, yo, mastery point. Shit! Don't die, team! The last boss! Oh, fuck. I think you need to negate her. Uh oh. Shit! Yeah, this is a negate fight. What the fuck? All damage decreased. Is there a stop party attack? We're gonna be here for a while. Uh, shit. Bro, hopefully the bosses don't enrage. The first boss did, but I think that was just his mechanic. Awkward. Ma'am, taking massively reduced damage as well as healing every second. Uh... Valks are strong. is clearly very strong. Oh my god, dude. This is her fucking sister. Sigrun. the fuck? Oh, some mana. Alright, AFK heals. What even? Taking reduced healing. Oh, it's like a mortal strike. Don't mind me, boys. Alright, just keep fucking pressing your buttons. This is what a healer does when, like, the... When the content is on farm. Just lay back. Don't worry, guys. You got this. I'm just gonna go get a drink. Let me just... Let me just... Okay, I'll be right back. But... You know... During progression... A healer's job is very stressful, okay? Very fucking stressful, man. Compared to DPS, DPS is easy. Healing, totally different. Yeah, this fight would be different if I had, I, I guess instead of, uh, I mean, her little mortal strike isn't super bad, so just take that off and do a, uh, Put a negate on for her, but changing one ability for this boss. Let's go, lady. I'm gonna see how good my MP5 is. Oh, you can actually see the mana gain. 
So if I just chill here and roll regrowth. Oh, she's dead anyways. She's a good fight to kind of test your shit out on, I guess. Ollie! All right, boys, next game, yo, next game. This game's pretty fucking sick. Not bad. Kind of a sick game, actually. actually a pretty cool game. Not bad. <clears throat>